Hi, we're going to do a short video presentation for you in 2012 Volkswagen Beetle Fender Edition. So just looking at the front of the vehicle now, we'll move in a little closer for you. Just moving across the front of the bumper bar for you, so you can get an idea of the condition of the front section of the car. It's running down under the bottom of the bar so you can see it's nice and clean. No marks from gutters or anything from running into those. I'll just run up over the headlights for you. The front section of the bumper, over the badge. Just run over the sections of the bonnet for you so you can see there are no stone chips. move up over to the screen for you so you can see the condition of the windscreen. A couple of stickers, discounted pricing there. Just running down over the front guard on the passenger side. over the wheel. Some tyres are generally in new condition. Over the wheel there you can see the wheel's nice and clean, there's no marks or any obvious damage from coming into contact with gutters. Just run down over the bottom sill panel for you so you can see the condition of that. Come back up over the doors. The door handle area is in good condition as well. There's no marks or paint missing that section there, just running over the door skin for you. Over the mirror area there, you can see you've got the, the raised blinkers up inside the, the mirror. I'm just moving inside the car. Over the door, so you can see the top section of the door. There are no scratches, marks or any paint missing from the windows being down, arms being out the window. The actual door trim itself is in good condition as well. This is at the entry point of the motor vehicle. It's just nice and clean. So just over the bolster for the seat you can see it's in good condition from people getting in out. The seats don't look like they've had that much use at all, to be honest. So just run up over that one there for you. And the headrest. Right, back in over the seat, you can see the owner. Have all of the books for the vehicle, the owner's manual, the servicing schedule for the car. Last service was done at 104,000 kilometres, but it has all the other ones there scheduled through when they've taken place. So I'll just put that back in there in the glove box. There is a cable here for connectivity with iPods and that sort of thing. So looking at the floor area. So you can see it's got the genuine Volkswagen mats in there which have been in since new. So just over the seat pad from where you sit you can see yeah, that's in good condition, nice and clean. So just flip the seat forward so we can see in the back. So you can see the foot area there is nice and clean. I don't think the rear seats have had a whole lot of use to be honest. You can see with the condition of those. Nice and clean. Then just running down over the door area, see the build date of the car if I move this around, some of the pictures might be a little bit awkward. So just move back outside. So just over the rear guard area, you can see it's nice and clean. Uh, over the rear wheel. So it's nice and tidy and clean. No marks or anything on that one either. Just over the rear bar, you can see the parking sensors there for you. There are, however, on the back bar, just from luggage and bits and pieces, there are a couple of little marks. Probably a little bit difficult to see through the video, but just from those marks there, and a tiny little mark around that sensor. So the Volkswagen badge at the back opens up for the little hatch for you. So looking inside the luggage area, it has got a 
Uh, that little cargo mat that sits inside there that covers the whole carpet area so everything is intact and in good condition inside there. So we'll just move back out here. Put that back down. So you've got the boot lid spoiler there as well. Looking up onto the top of the car, you've got a little beasting aerial. You've got the blackened roof with the large sunroof sitting up inside there as well. So just touching on the roof, there is a tiny little bit of discoloration that's apparent over the, the top section there. Back down over the guard, fuel filler there. This rear wheel here on the driver's side on the, the back of the vehicle has come in contact with the gutter. So you can see the marks there just running around. Not sure how well they'll show up for you on the video. But there is a couple of marks running through there. Just along the bottom of the sill panel on the driver's side. Running up over the door area, got the mirror. Yeah, back down to the door handle, you can see it's in good condition. So we'll just climb inside the car for you. So just over the driver's side door. I've got controls here for, for mirrors, locking and unlocking the car. Down over the door skin area there. So window controls here for the driver and passenger window. So just checking in the driver's seat for you. So you can see the seat pads in good condition. Running over those. But the bolster you can see is in good condition as well. There's no marks there. Just running up over the bolster area there. So we just jump inside. Oh, just looking at the steering wheel. You've got the flattened bottom. Just running around the steering wheel area there. You can see the leather wraps in good condition. Back onto the wheel. You've got all your different controls here for your steering wheel, audio controls, you know, all your other bits and pieces that run along with it with this particular model. A bit hard to see up in here, but you've also got paddle shifts available to you for changing gears. So going up and down through gears. Other instrumentation controls here for dimming lights, adjusting the headlights with the different views on those. Right, headlight controls there. So we just flick the car on. You can see you go to start the car, all the lights come on obviously. You can see all the instrumentation there for the car. So green light comes on, uh, notifying me that I've got to put my foot on the, uh, the brake to actually change this vehicle out of gear. So running up over the dash area there, you can see you've got your different gauges there with your oil right, and turbo boost gauge and, and the right down through console area, air conditioning vents, radio section here, you can hear it's actually on, so we we'll turn that down a little bit. Through the console area here, you've got dual climates and control air conditioning system so passenger can be at a different temperature that actually displays for you on the screen up here so we can change that all about. Yeah. Changes the different auto different temperatures and all the other bits and pieces that you can do with this model. Running down through most of the console area. Little compartment with the center console. So just last look over the dash area there for you. Sorry if the camera's gone a bit haywire. Just want to move around in the car and. So to get you the best uh, best view of everything that's inside. So moving up the top up here, you've got buttons here to open and close the sunroof. So it goes through different sections in in here. I'll just try and move to get a better view for you. So so you can open it up at all different sections there as well. Uh, I'll just jump out so you can see what that looks like up. So you've got the wind deflector at the top up there. Obviously the big glass section that opens up there for you. So I'll just see if I can reach and grab the control. You can see it closing up. Alright, we'll just jump back outside. So just looking over the front guard there. Back down over the wheel on the 
front of the driver's side. You can see that one's in good condition. Let me just move back out to the front of the car here for you. Just move out so you get a final shot of the front of the car. Well, that concludes our video. Hope you find the vehicle to your liking and we hope to talk to you soon. Thank you.